Welcome back to the Meeple Marathon. Today we're going to be doing a solo playthrough of Flamecraft. Uh, if you are interested in learning how to set up the game or play the game both uh, regular or solo, uh, check out the video that's going to be popping up in the upper right corner at this moment. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm all set up here. Uh, Frazzle is my starting fancy dragon and I've got um, uh, purple, yellow, and red dragon to start off with. Um, just to note, just for fun, I'm playing with the Fancy Dragon miniature uh, to kind of equal things out and not make the solo mode tougher than it needs to be. I have removed the blue miniature kind of from the game. So uh, I, I kind of swapped out the blue miniature for this pink one. Um, if you've seen my how-to video, you'll realize um, what that means. If not, it, I'll point it out when something actually happens but we're gonna start out by going to uh, Draco Bell here so I'm gonna get two meat um, I did move uh, the fancy dragons normally are stored right here but I'm gonna keep my resources right here so you guys can see what I've got um, so I just moved them over there so I'm getting my two meat I'm taking the gather action obviously um, I'm getting my two meat and I'm gonna go ahead and put another uh, meat dragon there that's going to give me a coin and I'll activate one of them uh, they're both the same so then I'm going to take my uh, bread dragon and place him here to get uh, another coin and that is there's uh, nothing I can activate at the location so I am done now we go on to the AI step uh, nothing needs to be filled so we just draw this top card here and we're looking for a the first spot starting up here in the upper left corner and we see right away we can go here the AI does not collect anything they just cover up that spot now we placed a bread dragon card we take the bread dragon we place it in this location and then we look can uh, is there a bread dragon uh, thing uh, that can come out and there is unfortunately this is the one I was going for which is kind of obnoxious but that's how the game goes so this one will get fitted up here even though the dragon is not in the location that's how the ai works that's how they kind of push uh this game is uh really just a can you get to 75 points so i'm gonna have to lap around here and then back up here again before my timer runs out and the timer is either this deck running out or this deck running out and so you can see the ai really just kind of gets in my way a little bit and pushes the timer. I'm not competing against them in score in any way, shape, or form. All right, so my uh, idea of what was gonna happen here has completely changed. So, let's see here. Oh, man. All right, what else can I go after? I've got some meat. I can go get some potions here and some bread. I was going to go there next, too, and I really don't want to go there and just give up um, some people. So, yeah, I think we're going to shift over here. You do have to change locations. You cannot stay in one spot. I will do the gather action again, obviously. So I'll take my two potions, and I will play a potion dragon down here. That will get me a coin. I apologize. I should have revealed a new location because this one filled up. It filled up so quickly, I wasn't even paying attention. I'll stick it right here, and I am going to keep them, and it would have flipped up at the end of the turn. So this should have been uh, a place I could have gone to. Um, not one that I want to go to right now because I don't have two bread. So that's fine. Um, but this is now a viable location. Normally, you would stick it like this. Um, put your dragons down here, but since we're all facing the same direction, I'm going to put it like that. Okay, my apologies. That should have happened at the end of the AI turn. Um, okay, back to over here. I can activate one of these dragons, um, and so obviously I have to activate one of them. And what is it that I want? I think I just want some resources here. gonna swap you and then I get to activate this one and I get to gain uh, any three different resources so I'm going to gain a potion a bread 
And um, what are we thinking? We might want a diamond. Maybe actually, no, you see, I can't take another bread. I was thinking about another bread, but I can't do that. All right, my turn is over. Uh, nothing needs to be refilled here. So we look for meat. Where can I put meat? Where can I put meat? Way down here. All right. So we take the we placed a meat dragon. We take the meat dragon miniature, place it in this location, and then we look to see is there a meat thing we can throw down? There is. Okay. Uh, and so then I can choose. I guess if you really wanted to play properly, you could um, you know roll a die or something like that. But uh, if I remember correctly, the rules say you can choose at this point if there's both. So I'm going to choose this one. There is only one location that this can go in, so that's going to fit right there. And there we go. That's the AI turn. The AI turn is very simple once you figure out the steps that need to be taken. And again, the AI is really just meant to get in your way and advance the game timer. Okay. So I may go down here, actually. I can't put a dragon down though, so I'm really gaining no benefit from that. Um, and to my knowledge, you have to take them in order. See, your gather action says use the shop ability last. And I don't think I can take them out of order. See, ideally I would come down here, pay my two bread, then have a dragon to place. But instead, now I have to figure out where I want to go to get a dragon. And <laughs> we're looking at these two places right here. Oh man, I could go there and enchant that one, but I'm not getting very much for it. Um, I could do the three actually and get four points out of it, but eight is so much more worth it. So, yeah, if I go here, then I'm just swapping those back again. But maybe that's worth it, all right. So I'm gonna go here, I've changed locations. I'm getting a uh, potion and a diamond. You can have up to seven of each type. So right now, the only thing I have a lot of is uh, potions. I have four of them, so I'm still good. Um, so I've gathered, uh, and then I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna flip this because I really like the diamond thing I can claim. Um, yeah, I can enchant this, but I'm going for this. All right, so my three different goods is going to be a diamond, a meat, and it's gotta be something different, so we will do another bread. All right, I'm done. AI, what's the AI doing? They are looking to place a bread dragon. Boom, boom, boom. All right, nowhere, it can't go anywhere up here. So then we look down here and it can go right there. So it's gonna cover up that spot and the bread dragon is gonna be moved. All right, and can we place a bread dragon enchantment? No, so that's it. All right, so let's continue on with my plan here. I'm going to enchant this time so I don't get to gather. I will pay one, two, three, one, two, three, and two coins to round out each one of those. All right, so coins go back to the fountain this goes back to the supply, and I have now traded in a four set. So that's eight points, I'm on the board. Boom. Now, I can, let's see, I will, I will do this one. I will gift a good to get two more points against the AI, it just goes into there. And then I get to draw two from uh, the location up here. So what is it I'm looking for? Um, definitely want one of these guys and um, I do like the purples I think yeah because I can take the purple down here eventually all right so there we go I am done I need to refill first refill here here and here uh, check we don't put out any new buildings so all right, diamond, 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 diamond. All right, now, this is where I mentioned earlier that I have kind of just replaced the 
diamond dragon miniature with my pink one. So there's not an AI dragon diamond miniature to place out. So nothing moves there and I'm not at risk of losing this one. So I kind of know I have this in my back pocket. I can wait on this one. It's not going to get stolen from me. It's a little bit of strategy you can have when playing the solo game. So that AI turn was even more simple. Okay, so where do I want to go? I could go get some meat to do this one, but again, I can wait. Um, I'm looking to park uh, various dragons in different locations here. Um, hmm. I could, I'm pretty close to doing this one too. All right, so let's go here. So we're going to go to the Smith Mart. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the Smith Mart so I get two anvils. Okay, and then I'm gonna place this one here for a coin. Then I'm going to activate. I think I'm going to activate the purple one because this is going to give me a third type. So my three different goods will be that and a steak and I guess maybe another bread. I see a lot of bread out there. All right, I'm done. Don't need to refill anything. So here comes the AI. They're putting out a meat dragon. I'm pretty sure I know where this is going to go down here. So. Meat's actually going to stay, uh, but they can put out a meat one. So they're going to put out their second meat one up there. And this is now filling, I'm paying attention this time, this location. So maws and paws are coming out. All right. I think I need to just jump on this one over here. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna enchant. So I'm gonna spend one, two, and three. There's my resources. And where was it? Six points, that's gonna get me. 16, and then I can activate. So who do I wanna swap here? What am I looking for? I've got a ton of this. So I may try and work it out so that Frazzle, I can set Frazzle up here. Um, and I could use something from, I could use a bread dragon. So let's do this. Let's activate, uh, we'll just start with this one here. Let's move that there and that there. All right, so I get to draw somebody from the park. Um, I'm actually okay with one of these green ones. Let's get uh, Lotus here. Okay, I don't refill that yet. And then, so this has one, two, three. So I would need red. I need to get this to be a red one. And then I'm set. And that's my two locations. can I do that? No, I don't want to flip that one. I need to put a, a purple dragon there, but I don't just have one. Mm. <laughs> Trixie, Trixie. I could move it over here. No, nope, that's not helpful either. What do I want to do here? I 
got to figure out how to wait I think I can do this okay I'm here I got to flip this guy all right so I'm gonna trade that guy swap him and then I can place I can place a dragon in town so I'm gonna put a rusty in here that's gonna allow me to draw a new fancy dragon we've got Steven okay he's an end game one and now I just need to eventually flip this guy for a diamond and then I've got it um, so yes that was that took way longer to, to work through but that's fine we got there uh, I do need to refill my one dragon over here and this all right potion there we go so the purple one's coming out can we do a purple one nope we just did it Aha. okay so it's my turn now I guess we're just gonna go get a bunch of meat yeah yep so we're gonna go here we're gonna get one two three four meat one two three four meat one potion one iron and then I get to choose one to activate. I'm going to swap this guy with, yeah, it really doesn't matter. With this guy, although there are some fancy dragons where this matters, so we're gonna do that one. All right, so now I get three of my choice. Um, what could we fire off here soon? We could go back and do this one. I've got everything I need there. Uh, I could start working towards that one. So let me get a bread, a meat, and I don't know, a diamond. All right. Um, so now at this point, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six, two shops containing six types of dragons. So I'm going to flip this over to gain six points, 22. fill anything so yeah here we go AI is looking to place a bread dragon so we're gonna fly down here and it can fill this spot right here because this can take any type of dragon the bread dragons already here there are no bread dragon uh, enchantments to take Okay, what was I looking for? I've got one, two, three, four, one, two. So I could do this one. I could go ahead and knock that one out. However, somebody's there in my way, but I've got a lot of extra resources I can spend here. So let's do that. All right, I'm gonna give up my diamond to the purple one. So I paid to go there. Now I'm going to enchant with this one. So that's one, two, three, four meat, two bread, two coins. For another eight points. All right. Now, two goods from the shop there. Um, I yeah, it's got to either be anvils or potions. I've got potions, quite a lot of potions over here. So we're gonna do anvils, then I can swap. Um, I mean, you guys know what I'm going for. Even though I could use a dragon in hand, so. Maybe we'll do one of those too. Uh, so I could go here, I could use coal. I really like this one just because it's getting me coins, three things a piece, possibly a dragon. So I'm gonna focus on this for a while. So I've got a green, I could take coal. So we're gonna flip you with you. And then we're gonna flip you with, uh, what are some of these other things we could do? We'll do a blue one with you. All right, so to be able to do this in the future, I need a bread, a meat, and a potion, technically. All right. Okay, refill here, refill here. Then we flip. Diamond. All right, so there is, an, I am the diamond that we don't move me, so we're done. Okay, let's uh, move forward with the strategy I was referring to. So we'll, 
fill out, uh, yeah, we'll do this one first. So I gain a coin first for coming here. Let's make sure we get that. Now that I have a coin and I can place this guy down, getting three, one, two, three, I can actually, hold on, I'm gonna place this guy instead, um, which will allow me to gain two of one good from the shop here. Now, unfortunately, coins are not considered goods, so I have to take anvils, but that's okay. I'm gonna be spending them here shortly. All right, um, I took my three points already. Now, since I have a coin, I can flip it, heads or tails, uh, I'm going to be getting a dragon. At some point, either one could be good. So tails, I'll take it. That's a fancy dragon for me, and I've got Pocus. Each dragon you could uh, fire off this turn gets you two points instead. Mm, that's a good one to use for nice six points. Um, okay, I am done. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, nothing to refill. Diamond, 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 diamond. Diamond. Okay. And again, I am the diamond dragon, so nothing else happens. All right. Where do we want to go? We want some diamonds. Yep. So we're going to go up here. And I guess... I guess I'm gonna go ahead and enchant. So there's that and those three for six points. Okay, then I can gain three goods of uh, three different goods. So I'm gonna do a diamond. Um, what else could I use? A meat and a leaf. All right, and then I can swap again. So I will swap you with you. Very nice. And do it again, get another diamond, get another meat. And um, for this last one, we'll do um, potion maybe, yeah. Okay, I like it. Yeah, all right, yeah. This refills, there we go. The AI is looking to place a leaf dragon, look at that. All right, so the leaf guy comes out. They do not pay me a good, I don't know why, it seems bogus, but anyways, is there a leaf one that can be put out? Yes, there is. This wasn't the one I was going for, no, it's not, but it's the one that just came out, it was a nice one, but it's already gone. And that's that, this refills. This deck is, yeah, going faster than that deck. All right, Smoked Gorgon. Don't have any bread. All right. Question is, do I come down here? Yeah, I think before. I'm hoping this guy doesn't steal this one from me. You never know, but I'm gonna take that risk. So I'm gonna come down here, get a coin. All right, place this dragon for three. One, two, three. Activate that one to get two leaves this time. And flip a coin. It is tails again. Another fancy dragon. Uh, Starburst, pay cost of a thing, score it, and leave it in the row. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 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 Um, that changes things a little bit. 
Oh wait, I moved the wrong dragon last time. Sorry. There we go. All right. Um, it is the AI's turn. Is it a purple? It is not. Okay, I'm safe. All right. Now they cannot place this anywhere. All right. So let me check. It's been a while since. Um, uh, place a dragon first empty slot that matches the dragon's icon or is wild and place the dragon if there isn't a matching slot return the dragon to the bottom of the deck and draw a new one okay that's what it is i knew it was a return i don't remember so one's definitely coming out all right um jewel and you know what i've realized i have i have been filling up shops for a while now so hold on hold on why didn't you guys catch me on this this is all right, I know that's going to be a diamond. Um, we're like completely full up here. I have been neglecting my duties. All of these should be full. I was like, why? Why is there only one location to fill? So we're literally just filling up the town here. All right. So they should have easily been able to say, boom, that goes there. Uh, blue comes here. Boom. And blue can do... Uh, We'll give them this one. All right. My apologies. Oh, man. It is easy to get caught up in uh, just playing the game here and focusing on what you're going to do next. Okay. So, um, yeah, we've got a lot of choices now. Hmm, I do like Oh My Gourd. I need some dragons though. This needs to refill. All right, I'm paying attention now, guys. I am paying attention. Ooh, I could do this one right now. I think I will. All right, I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to enchant this one. I've got four anvils and three leaves. So I'll spend a coin to supplement. That's eight points. Up to 50. So boom, I get to flip it over. Just 25 more points. Then I can place a dragon in town. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and play Pocus here. Uh, I get uh, two points for each dragon I don't want to activate. So I'm going to take at least four. One, two, three, four. I think I will utilize this last guy here um, to swap with let's say you so I can take a guy from town and I want it to be this neat dragon here do I no I want it to be this guy all right refill refill okay Oh man, I can't believe I missed all those locations. All right, um, you're gonna go right there. Purple's gonna go right here. And purple, they took mine that I was prepping for, but that's fine, I found a better one to put in there anyways. So there we go. All right, this one's getting very close here, so I need to find some points quickly. All right, so I'm gonna go over here to Oh My Gourd. I get a leaf for that. All right. Then um, I need to have even goods at the end of the turn. So I'm going to put you here. That's two points. One, two. And then uh, my th I can fire off one dragon. So let's do that first. Um, I mean, we know what we're going to do here gain us some goods so I could use a diamond a leaf and I don't know this Okay, so now I can gain two times a reward from an empty slot. So I could gain four coins, which I think I might do, or three hearts. I 
think I'm going to take four coins. One, two, three, four. Now, before my turn is over, I'm going to activate Starburst here. Pay the cost of a thing to score it and leave it in the row. So I'm going to do this one. So there's two leaves, three diamonds. I'm going to supplement here and here. So these are all going to go back. So that's eight points for scoring this one, but it stays there. So we're up to 14. All right, and I'm done. Okay. More than likely, it's gonna go right there. Yep, I am the blue one, so nothing else happens. All right, uh, unfortunately, I can't just stay here. Um, I, c I need some bread to do that one. Um, yeah, I can't do any of these without some stuff, but if I can find some bread, which I know where there's a lot of bread, so let's go there. Uh, there's also a lot of bread here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then I can do two meats. Hmm. But here I can get, I like this one better. So I gotta pay somebody something. So I'm gonna pay an anvil to this guy. I also get to collect three breads and one diamond. Three breads, one diamond. And then I uh, can choose one of these. I don't wanna spend any of my breads uh, and we will what do we want to do? Should I draw one? Yeah, let's draw this diamond one. All right, we refill here, nothing here. I don't want to activate that, do I? Two bread. I could pay my two coins, but I need one of them. I'm gonna get two more coins over here, though. So, but I don't think I need anything from the park right now. So I think I'm gonna stay. All right. Here we go. All those are full. We're looking for meat. Meat's gonna go right there. So meat's gonna travel down here. And can we put a son of a gun? You stole it from me. Ugh. All right, my plans are awash now. What can I, what can I pivot to? Um, that one, I guess. Um, I could do this one for six. That would get me to ten. Then I would need five more points. Um, if I, well, well, let's see what this one is. Okay. I don't have any anvils though. I have at least two more turns and nobody's gonna steal this one from me. So let's do that. Let's go up here and get lots of anvils. Put it over here. Yeah, I think that was the plan actually. All right, I'm gonna go over here. So I get a leaf and a diamond. I could go over. All right, I'm gonna place this here to get two coins. All right, and then I'm going to, uh, let's see here. I will gain two times an empty slot, so that's six. Boom. All right, I think we can, I think we can, we've got this in the bag. It's gonna be close, but uh, nothing needs to be refilled. This is wanting to go right there. So the bread dragon travels over here and he can't, he stole this one from me. They're taking all the good ones. 
you would think that the AI doesn't have a brain. All right, so this actually activates the end game, ladies and gentlemen, because this last one is being flipped over. There's nothing left in this pile. The AI has triggered it. Uh, it would have done it next turn anyways. Um, so this is my last turn. Steven here is looking for even goods at the end of the turn. So I actually have that if I could just get rid of those two, um, which unfortunately would have been perfect. Oh no, not up there, but all right. But let's just uh, not worry about Steven so much and try and... Which one of these can I do? I can do this one. I can go up there, that one can take one. I unfortunately can't just travel back here and put it there, but that's fine. This one can take one more. So I'm gonna go up there, I'm going to uh, trade these and these. And actually, yeah, yep. One, two, three, and two diamonds. And I will, hold on, get four points and a dragon. That dragon doesn't really matter. Um, boom, I'm up to, I'm one point away from victory. Um, but now I get to activate all this stuff. So I can give up a leaf for, uh, wait, hold on, I don't want to do that. Because I'm going to do something else here. I'm going to give up a potion for two points. So that puts me over the edge. 90, getting all the way down to 90 is like super win. I don't think I'm going to get there. Uh, I can draw a dragon. Again, it really doesn't matter at this point. And now I will use you to do our thing here and gain. This will even that out. This will even this out. And then a third one that's not going to count. All right. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are done. Um, we have successfully surpassed 25. But just so you guys can see that we can score for Steven. Steven would get us an additional one, two, three, because these are all even. So one, two, three. And then I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four coins. So we finished at 83. Not bad. Um, right in the middle of a good score. Remember, 25 is your goal. 90 is kind of like... Uh, you know, MVP score, I'm right in the middle. But there you have it, that is how you play uh, Flamecraft solo. Um, so it's a little bit different, um, but again, there's still people stealing the dragons from you, stealing the locations from you, getting in your way, so you have to pay them. So it does do a pretty good job of simulating an actual game. Um, if you're not a big fan of beat your own score, that's kind of what it feels like, but it's really more, if you think about it, you have a goal to reach, which is 75 points within the timer. That is um, really the name of the AI game here. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.